Hi, welcome to Linda's Take on Office. Today we are going to be working in PowerPoint. I'm working in the Shelley Cashman PowerPoint Module 1, End of Module Project 2, the Promises to Our Customers PowerPoint. We're going to be creating a presentation using pictures. I've already downloaded my instructions, my starter file, and all the support files from Cengage. I've saved it and I'm ready to begin working on the steps. So let's go. The first step we're asked to do is look at the title slide and select the title Promises to Our Customers and change the font to Franklin Gothic Heavy. So I'm going to come down here, end of our title placeholder, select that text. I'm going to use the Quick Access Toolbar to change my font. I'm going to scroll to find the Franklin Gothic Heavy font. They would also like us to make some changes to the subtitle. So right underneath our title placeholder we have our subtitle placeholder. So I'm going to select that text and I'm going to change the font color to orange. So again I'm going to use my Quick Access Toolbar and select my font color. I'm going to come over here to orange accent one and scroll down to lighter 40% to make that change. Then I want to bold that text and I also want to italicize this text and increase the font size to 20 points. Finally, on our title slide, we want to add a picture from the support file. So right up here, we already have a placeholder to add a picture. So I'm just going to select this icon. I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm going to find my support file for people. So right here is my people. I'm going to insert and it's automatically going to put that graphic in and resize it to my placeholder. Now you can see over here I have my design ideas also uh, pop up. We're not going to do anything with uh, the design ideas so I'm going to close that navigation pane and I am now ready to move to step four and working on slide two. So I'm going to select slide two from my navigation pane on the left and we want to select the word caring in the title placeholder and replace it with supportive. So when you want to select just one word, you can double click and it's going to just select that one word. And now all I need to do is just start typing. So I'm going to type in supportive to make that change. Now in the first paragraph, we want to change the words individual and department and replace them with the word all. So I can do this all in just two steps. So I'm going to put my insertion point right in front of the eye in individual. Then I'm going to select individual and department. So I have those three words selected. And now all I need to do is type in the word all and a space. And I have my first lines changed to set goals at all levels. We have our bullet points here and you can see here we have a second paragraph. So each one of these is considered a paragraph because we've hit the enter key to insert this text into our slide. So here in our second bullet point or our second paragraph we want to increase the indent level. So right now we have provide feedback and coaching and it's at the first level we want to increase the indent level. So up here under our paragraph grouping, I have my increase list level and decrease. I'm going to increase this. So I'm going to make that provide feedback and co coaching a second level paragraph or second level bullet. On the third paragraph, empower to make decisions, I want to decrease that list level so it becomes a first level paragraph. So up here on my paragraph grouping I have my increase and my decrease list levels. I want to decrease it to move it over to make it as a first level paragraph. We want to add some information to the notes pane. 
the notes pane in paragraph are for notes for your presenter. So this information is not going to appear in your presentation. It's only going to appear to whoever is looking, who is doing the presenting. And we want to add some text. We will acknowledge problems and apologize without placing blame. We want to add that down here in our notes area. Now, if you don't see this notes area in your PowerPoint, right here is where you can turn on that notes pane, toggle it on and off right down here in the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to click to add notes and I'm going to type that sentence in to my slide. I am now ready to move on to slide three. And in slide three, we want to change the slide layout to two content. So up here on our home tab in our slides grouping, we have layout, select layout, and we want to select the two content layout. And here in our right placeholder, we want to add a picture. So I'm going to select this picture icon and I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm going to find the file integrity. And I'm going to insert and it's going to put that picture right here in our right content placeholder. And we want to resize it so that it's four and a half inches high. So with our picture selected, we have our picture format tab. We're going to come over here to our size and we're going to, the height we are going to change to 4.5. And when we enter it, you can see that the width automatically changes. So it keeps everything in proportion. Now with slide three still selected, we are going to insert a new slide four using the picture with caption layout. So I'm going to come up here to my home tab and here in my slide areas, I'm going to select new slide and I want this slide to be the picture with caption layout. For our title on this slide, we want to enter, we will make customers feel special. Make sure you capitalize everything. We want to take the word special and italicize it. So I'm going to double click to select that word and up here in my quick access toolbar, I'm going to click on the italicize button. I want to change the font color. So I'm going to come over here to font color and I want my font color to be green accent three darker 25%. And then I also want to underline. Down in the right content placeholder, I want to add a picture. So I'm going to select the picture icon down here and I want to select the support file with the customer picture and enter that into my slide. Now this slide four, we actually want to be the very last slide in our, picture, our presentation. So over here in our navigation pane on the left hand side, I can click with and hold down with my left mouse key and drag until that slide becomes the last slide in my presentation. So with the new slide four, the we will show respect slide, we want to change the layout to two content. So again, we're going to come up here to our slides, select layout and change to two content. We want to create a multi-leveled list in our right content placeholder. So before we've just clicked and added a picture. Well, now we want to click to add text. So we're going to click right here where it says click to add text. And the first level paragraph, we want to be show empathy. We're going to hit the enter key to make a second paragraph. And we want this also to be a first level paragraph. And we want this to read, listen actively. When you hit the enter key, you're entering a third paragraph. This one, we want to be a second level paragraph. So up here on our paragraph grouping, we're going to hit the increased list level. You can also hit your tab key to move over 
to the second level. This bullet we want to say give feedback. We're going to hit the enter key and we now have four paragraphs here. The current list level on this fourth paragraph is a second level paragraph. We actually want this one to be a third level paragraph. So you can either hit the tab key or come up here and hit the increase list level button to move that over into the third level paragraph. And we want this to read ask relevant questions. We are now moving on to slide five. And here in slide five, we again want to change the layout to two content. So up here under our layout options, we're going to select two content. In our right content area, we want to add a picture. So we're going to select the picture icon. And this time we want the satisfaction support file. And we want to resize this picture so that it's six inches wide. So with our picture selected up on our picture format tab, we're going to come over here to the width and we're going to change that to six. The last thing we want to do in our presentation is check the spelling. It's very important when you're messing around with PowerPoint that you do a spell check. If it's something that you are going to be presenting to a group, definitely make sure you check the spelling. I'm going to come up here and make slide one my first slide, my active slide. I'm going to come up here to the review tab and I'm going to select spelling. I'm going to close my design ideas pane and now here is my spelling pane. So acknowledge we want to make that change here and now everything else is okay. If I come up here to my view tab, I can change my view to my slide sorter view and you can see here all six slides in my presentation. So you can look over and make sure that yours matches this. We are ready to save this presentation. We're going to close the presentation and we are going to come back to Cengage and we are going to upload our file for grading. Once it's uploaded, submit for a grade. And now we're ready to check our graded summary report. The PowerPoint graded summary report appears in the form of a PowerPoint. The very last slide in our presentation is going to be our graded summary report. So I'm going to double click on my slide to open it up and you can see we've, uh, I've received 100 out of 100. You can review your graded summary report. If there's some text in red, that's what you need to go in and change and then resave and resubmit for a higher grade if your instructor allows you to do that. In your PowerPoint presentation, if you have something incorrect on a slide, it will also be listed at the top of the slide, just like this. Find the graded summary report on the last slide box is. Thank you for joining me this evening on Linda's Take on Office, working in PowerPoint, Shelley Cashman, Chapter 1, Module 1, End of Module, Project 2, Promises to Our Customers in PowerPoint. If you like my video and if you would like to know when I post new videos, please subscribe to my channel. I hope that you like my video and if you do, please hit the like button as well. As always, I hope wherever you are, your day has been sunny. Thank you for joining me on Linda's Take on Office and have a great day.